Toy Sapiens here in Nagoya. We're taking a look at the current Spider Man Festival event happening and great time as we're getting some nice Spider Man releases. We're going to be taking a look at this collection and a store tour as usual. Hey there, welcome to Gemini Toys. Here we are once again, and it's Toy Sapiens time at Nagoya, the Spider-Man Spider Festival continues. This is the last one of the tour, I guess you could call. They kind of do the event in three stores, usually first in Tokyo. So we're going to take a look at that, but first remember to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future content coming up on the channel. So we're inside here and this event started a week ago. I actually took this footage on the first day and it's a little bit busy, but uh, yeah, as you can see here, I'm going to have to jump over these baskets. Let me get through here. I'm just trying to squeeze around, trying to bother people the least amount as possible. Yeah, it's kind of busy. But um, yeah, I'm trying to just get the, you guys some footage. And uh, yeah, here's we have the collection as usual. If we can maybe take a look here. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to be rude there. Sorry. Just real quick, I just really like how this looks. This Mark 85 armor or bust, I should say. Well, it is really a bust of the Mark 85 clean armor. And then we have this, this piece looks pretty cool, which is the Infinity Gauntlet. Not Infinity Gauntlet, Nano Gauntlet. Hush, it's been a while. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of rushing through this first floor. Most of this stuff you guys have seen at some point um including those pinball machines so yeah we're gonna just jump into the meat and potatoes of this event which is uh, thank you for uh letting me check it out <laughs> uh <laughs> i love how polite people are here i feel like i'm it may seem like i'm rude but i'm trying to be as kind as possible but at the same time trying to get uh the footage uh for you guys you know so starting here Look at that. We have uh, some one-offs display. We'll be taking a closer look later at all the hot toys, of course. That's what I usually feature. And here we have Venom and Carnage. Some uh, bus and I'm going to sit my butt down. No, not this time. It's too busy. No time to relax. I like those chairs, though. I know I say that like every time. It's getting old. Um, here we have some gremlins horror section as usual most of the stuff again I know I'm repeating myself and I'm repeating also the footage here so that's why I'm not uh, I'm not I'm only zooming into or taking a closer look at things that uh, I haven't shown before I have a ton of these tours on the channel if you're new to the channel make sure to check them out there's a ton of them there's a list that you can check out like a playlist and um, yeah, we're taking a look here at these uh, one to one uh, scale statues made by Hot Toys, I believe. I'm not a statue collector, so, but I know they make them. Pretty sure they're made by Hot Toys. So, all Spider Mans. This is the video game Spider Man. And then we had some Tom Holland Spider Man. And speaking of. I've shown this on the previous tour of Osaka, but we'll take another look uh, at the wardrobe costumes of Spider-Man uh, No Way Home. Far From Home? Homecoming? <laughs> no, this is all from No Way Home. We got Doc Ock, mannequin wearing glasses. But these are the real deal, so it's a nice way to see in comparison to the figures sometimes. Playmobile, Playmobile. Yeah, 
don't care too much about that. So here I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea of uh, walking around the store, what it would look like. It's a nice sight. And uh, so let's take a look at the hot toys. Starting with this Marty McFly, love that figure. This one uh, don't have of this display. It's the only one I don't have. I do have this Jack Sparrow, and it's a great figure. If you guys really like Jack Sparrow, it's it's a great one. That's a real nice one. I've had both, and that's definitely my favorite of the two. And but both are real nice. Here, taking a look at some DC. There's not a whole lot to see. <laughs> I know, I kind of, not a whole lot of DC to see, yeah. Uh, Harley Quinn, yeah. Here, I recently got this guy. Check out the review if you haven't already. Really do like this figure. Don't like that price so much, and I'm glad I didn't have to pay that. Nope, I wouldn't pay that. But if you can get him for like 400 or so, definitely it's it's a great piece. I definitely, um, I'm very happy um, since I got a, yeah, toy hunting. If you guys seen my toy hunting video, you know all about it. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging and blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. And uh, here, we're taking a look at Django Fett. Just a closer look is I really do like this figure and was not, not that long ago released by Hot Toys as well as this Luke Skywalker from Empire Strikes Back. Very nice. I'm happy with my Return of the Jedi. And speaking of, looks like to looks like it's the same sculpt, just updated paint apps and uh, then those hair pieces can be removed. So as we pretty much all know, there that looks cool that um, it's catching the light, the visor of the destroyed stormtrooper head. But yeah, another one that I wouldn't pay this price. Um, I got the single, but I still would like to get that head sculpt at some point. Or maybe even the figure. I've been seeing it loose lately. And uh, here we have Dim, Din, Din Jarin, the transport trooper. The weathering looks really nice. It's a nice looking piece been seeing this guy going around for like $200 recently so uh, might be something I pick up at some point and here we have um, Moff Gideon I was gonna say Darth Sidious I don't know why <laughs> he wishes uh, anyways uh, I do like Moff Gideon though I don't want to come across wrong and speaking of Star Wars this was recently announced by Hot Toys a little pixelated image here for you guys but we're zooming here to a little bit better it looks a little bit better this is a nice release uh, mediocre source material I did enjoy the last two episodes especially that one revealing the face of Anakin kind of connected Darth Vader and Anakin and, and that's the first time you really feel they're both the same and I really enjoyed that but other than that not so much but nice release except for that head sculpt needs a little bit of work on Obi-Wan but here are we taking a look at the collection yeah I like this piece here. Another one recently released by Hot Toys. I've covered it on the channel quite a bit. In fact, you guys seem to really like this piece because uh, the 4K showcase I did a while back, it's for some reason seems to be something you guys are really interested in. So let me know if I can, is this something you would, you're really looking forward to getting or did you get it? I'm curious. How popular of a figure this is but the I mean looks pretty great I'm pretty tempted myself to get not so much as I was to be honest and I'm not sure if I find them for a decent price down the line perhaps it's all made of plastic I didn't understand why you know all that packed in detail needed to be that way but they're still charging like it's a die cast figure and speaking of here we have the mark 47 uh, and then yeah, this guy was just announced, which is Andrew Garfield, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's not No Way Home, and I understand Hot Toys, I guess, wants to save money by releasing him or re-releasing him. Looks very similar. Minor differences, I can see, and that head sculpt does look pretty good. And then, uh, is this the first time Hot Toys is actually selling just the diorama base? And that's gonna be No Way Home. So you get both and then you have a No Way Home figure, I guess. 
but this head sculpt looks really good i know it might be uh the previous one from the amazing spider-man one just updated paint apps but uh, it looks really good i will say that head sculpt looks really good so yeah and then uh toby mcguire spider-man should be coming i mean if they announce that is the date is of the making of this video still hasn't been announced but uh should be coming real real soon there we have them in the background i have that figure and uh yeah toby andrew garfield it would be nice to have that trinity that's for sure i used to have that iron man spider iron man spider iron spire um yeah i like that piece just too bad it couldn't be articulated very well and here this is an even more awesome display the uh, the, the display at toys happens is nice but this definitely this is so much nicer this is currently going on in uh, hong kong not japan but in hong kong and uh yeah they tease uh, toby Maguire possibly with a diorama they're gonna do the same thing uh friendly neighborhood spider-man from spider-man one pretty much a reissue with updates and hopefully a nice toby Maguire head sculpt and then sandman will be the diorama base for um so you can just make it a no way home figure i'll be fine just with the toby Maguire figure um but i might want to get the andrew garfield as i said that um head sculpt does look quite good so here we have more spider-man action lots of figures here in display pretty awesome this is what we have in stock you know, i just keep showing the bottom so you guys can see what's available in stock is of the making of this video hmm, some more video game um spider-mans cat suit here we have which one is this one hmm, another one from the video game I keep forgetting i haven't played the game so but i i do like this venom i mention it every time uh, it's something that possibly possibly i'm not the biggest fan of this mark 5 but i must say it looks pretty cool you know he just he wore it such a short time in iron man 2 it just it's not a main suit i like to get the main ones my absolute uh, the most iconic i guess is the best way to say it so some black widow stuff as well as uh, taskmaster there and yeah you see like this this is quite iconic don't have this one i used to have the older one but again that guy's been going down in price like crazy and uh, i wanted to show you guys this uh i'm a little excited about this hugh jackman uh days of future past and yeah i might get a consider getting that wolverine figure i need to add one and recently hot toys did announce this this neo from a mediocre film the hype is way done if there was any why now and then those two repainted uh here are my thoughts on these Uh, to be fair, you know, I, if I want the best Boba Fett ever, I could just spray paint my Boba Fett with the glossy black and I have the best Boba Fett ever. Nah, no thank you. I I'm good. But that Neo does look pretty good. It's just the source material. Gosh. Nonetheless, taking a look here at this awesome collection again, I always enjoy seeing so many Hot Toys figures together and i'm pretty excited about toby mcguire spider-man coming coming yeah so yeah that's gonna conclude this uh tour of toy sapiens and hope you guys enjoyed it i always enjoy checking out this store and hopefully you guys do just as much and I definitely, I love this guy. Definitely recommend them if you guys don't have them. And that's going to conclude this video. Like I always say, subscribe, like, and comment. Enjoy the path of collecting, and I'll catch you guys next time.